I have recently finished upgrading my Double Attitude CPT. It's an older laptop, a Pentium, well, a, a Celeron 600 based laptop, and, uh, well, it works now. It has a working CPU and a working motherboard, which is always important. And because I spent so much time and money on this damn thing, I figured I'd pull out my docking station that I have for it. Now this was used for a different model of laptop, but it's still compatible. Uh, it's a Dell Latitude C Dock 2, and, um, well, it's a dock. It's, it's a real docking station. It's not just a port replicator. So a port replicator would be just a pass-through, basically, that might give you some extra USBs or an extra... I don't know, this one would give you an extra PS2 port, one for keyboard and one for mouse. And this one actually gives you a couple of extra um, ports, so that's cool. But what's really cool is that it has expansion card slots. And these are all PCI slots. And what I'd like to do, because this is the way that I remember it being configured, is install this. A Matrox Millennium G450, I do believe. Uh, dual head or something like that. Basically, it's got two, um, two outputs on it, and although I'm only going to use VGA, um, it's still nice to have because it's a 32 meg card, and the laptop only has 8 megs on board of video RAM. So, um, before I actually go ahead and put this on my setup, I'm going to install this, and I couldn't really think of anything else. Good lord. There we go. Um, I couldn't think of anything else really that I needed to put in here, so there is one extra card slot in case I think of something in the future, but uh, really, I think this card is all I'm going to end up needing. Now if I could find this screw hole, there we go. Um, also with this, just in case you're curious, there's a port cover that goes over here, but of course I'm going to be using video, so I will have no need for that. Of course, the real thing that we have to test here is the fact, well, <laughs> we have to test that it works, and I don't actually know if it will, so let's, I think that's on there, I will hook everything up, and then I'll be right back, and we'll give this thing a full test. So I have the cables hooked up, all you really need to test it with is a power source, of course, and the video out. I'll slot the laptop into place, and although it's not necessary, lock it in place. And for full effect, let's put the monitor support on top of it. I will be, of course, having this on here, because without it I wouldn't have anything to set my PC on top of, which is what you'll see in the next part of the video. In this, in this video, but in a couple minutes. So uh, let's go ahead and power it on. We have a green light. We have noise, and if we go over, well, let's, before I move the camera, I'll see if it's actually doing anything. So it's booting up, but I don't have a video signal on my monitor just yet. So there's no video yet. And if I open up the laptop, all we have is a white screen. Now I did hear it boot up and it booted into Windows and it heard I heard like the device detection sound. So maybe I will undock this, try to install the driver for the video card, and then redock it and see if it works. Well I figured out at least part of the problem. This thing is still running on batteries, which it can do, it can power the entire dock from battery, but I I have it plugged in, so I don't know what the issue is with that. Um, that's definitely part of my problem, which I'll work on, and I'm searching for the video driver right now in my driver library. So, the hunt continues to find a solution to why it's not working. So I found out the reason why this was not working, and can you guess what it is? Can you guess what the number one rule in computing is when troubleshooting? Is it plugged in? Because no, in fact, it was not plugged in. It was, it was as far from plugged in as possible. It was actually not plugged in at all on either end. Uh, it wasn't plugged into the wall and the brick wasn't plugged in. So I pulled a stupid there and forgot to plug it in. Um, but it works now. 
So I went ahead and booted it up. Everything's hooked up. I got a keyboard and mouse, and uh, it works. It even forced itself to 1080p, which is surprising that it can even do that. And uh, we're running smoothly at 1920 by 1080 on this 32 meg video card. And everything seems to be fine, you know? It's exactly as it was before, just in a docking station. You can see down there we have the option to undock it if we'd like. It was as simple as that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> a pretty quick video, not really much to, to talk about. I mean, it works and that's what matters. We can open up Firefox, everything should work just as is, and it is in fact charging. I, I remembered to plug it in this time. So that's cool, and it actually, it elevates my computer in just a way that it makes it look a little more streamlined. There's not a big, you know, gap up here from, um, you know, just a height difference. And I was very lucky here, the monitor just... I can't even fit my finger under there. It just barely clears the the support or the stand. So, yeah, that's it for this one. Just a really quick video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have comments or questions, please feel free to leave them. And I thank you for watching.